This week on Goofing Off, Goof. I talk about Amagi Brilliant Park on Anamanga. Goof. Katie shows you how to make the kite shield from Breath of the Wild. Goof. Cameron delves deep into the new D&D Adventure Guide. Goof. All this and more on Goofing Off. to another semester of goofing off. I'm Matt Reed. And I'm Drew Bur Wait a minute, Matt. We're we're back? Uh I I I think we are You're real and I'm real. This isn't a dream. I guess not. Well, Matt, let's get to work. I guess I'll go review an anime real quick to get the show on the road. What anime are you reviewing, Drew? Is it Magi Brilliant Park? I'm glad you asked, Matt. I'm talking about a Ma Wait, how'd you know? It uh it says right there on the screen, right there. Oh, yeah, well, I guess let's get the show on the road with Animanga. What's up, fellas? Drew, anime guy by default, Brown here, raring to go for another wonderful semester of anime manga and goofing off in general. Now, I'm sure you're sitting at your monitor right now, so put on your gamer headphones, grab your stick of celery and your cup of milk, and let's get this anime review show back on the rails. You'd think that during the summer, especially this summer, I'd have watched like every anime under the sun, right? Well, unfortunately, I work retail, so I didn't have exactly as much time as I wanted to. However, I did manage to sneak a couple of watches into my anime repertoire. One of those was an anime called Amagi Brilliant Park. I guess for a roller coaster of a year this has been, reviewing a show about a theme park kind of fits, doesn't it? <laughs> play, play the theme song. I didn't think much of it when I began Amagi Brilliant Park. It seemed like a standard show about a guy exploring a theme park, so my expectations were relatively low going into the show. Boy, was I wrong. When I began watching, I was greeted by who I presumed to be the main character, well, being held at gunpoint at his school by a girl who asks him to go out onto an amusement park on a date with her. But yeah, this happens literally before the theme song is shown. After the theme song, they then go on this date to an old amusement park called Amaki Brilliant Park, where the main character, named Kanye, is dragged around by the girl, named Sento, through this really bad park that appears to be falling apart and managed pretty badly. Eventually, he's shown to the owner of the park, a girl named Latifa. Wait a minute, hold on. Kanye, Sento, Latifa. You guys noticing something? Yeah, most of the main cast are named after famous R&B artists like Kanye West, 50 Cent, and Queen Latifah. Anyway, Latifa explains that her and many of the park's workers come from the realm of magic, and unless they get 250,000 guests in three months, the park will close and they'll all lose their homes. Long, weird story short, Kanye agrees to get the park back together, and that's where the show begins. I know this whole plot sounds pretty generic. Magical people show up and ask the protagonist to help them with something. Pretty standard stuff. The thing about Amagi Brilliant Park is it's so well written and fun to watch. For example, all the characters that populate the park have so much personality and are done so well. Particularly, the mascot characters. There's Tyramy, the pink cat, Macaron the sheep, and Moffle the bear guy or something. These guys entertain the guests, and that can lead to some funny moments, but it's always even funnier when you see them interact with each other and show their true colors. They can be jaded, disrespectful, and even kind of scummy at some points. Not that it ruins their characters, it just kind of adds flavor to them and makes them fun. They always get back what they give out in the end. One of my personal favorite episodes is the one when Kanye is sick and Tyramy, Muffle, Sento, and Macaron go to school where they cause so much trouble. It's hilarious to see how they portray Kanye as the episode unravels. That isn't to say that the human characters are bad though. Both Kanye and Sento develop a lot as characters throughout the series, more than you'd think for a show of this nature. And at the end, you can really feel like they've grown as people. 
Again, Amagi Brilliant Park is a real simple show that I love for simple reasons. It's just such a fun show with great characters and, well, a brilliant setting. It just nails everything it tries to do so well that it ends up pulling it off in its own special way. It's truly unique in a show that I can wholeheartedly recommend. Amagi Brilliant Park won't necessarily bring you to tears or teach you some insanely valuable lesson, but it'll certainly provide you with a lot of laughs and leave you really happy. I wasn't expecting a little merry-go-round of a show, but I got a roller coaster ride that I'm happy I took. Yeah, I know. I'm moving on. Amagi Brilliant Park was originally a light novel written by Shoji Gato. It has since received a couple manga adaptations, and the anime that I'm talking about, which was directed by Yasuhiro Takemoto and written by Fumihiko Shimo. It was animated by Kyoto Animation in 2014 and has 13 episodes. Again, if you're looking for a nice watch full of laughs with that KyoAni polish and charm, Amagi Brilliant Park definitely has you covered. Well, that's it for episode one of this semester of Animaga. If you have any anime that you want me to review that isn't like 500 episodes, tweet me at ZTV Goofing Off with the hashtag Animaga. I'm Drew Brown, and I'll see you all next episode. You and I have both hosted. Do you have any ideas how we should throw at the break? Drew, I've literally used every single way to throw it to break there is. All right, well, okay, I got it. The breaks can be mini segments, so watch this. Up next is our classic segment, break. But it's just a break. If you like what you see here on Goofing Off, be sure to like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and follow us on Twitter. watching ZTV. Drew, have you ever wanted to like uh, shield yourself from projectiles such as arrows, weapons, maybe even swords, all while looking really cool? Matt, I was asking if you knew any good places to eat around here. Why are you asking me this? Yeah, me too. Luckily, new member Katie has just the video for you. Here's a create your character tutorial on the kite shield. <laughs> Hi y'all, I'm Katie Martin, and I'll be showing you how I made cosplays this semester on Create Your Character. Last week, Nintendo announced a new Hyrule Warriors game set to release in November, and it really got me wanting to bust out something Zelda related. It took me a minute to decide what to make because there are so many amazing props and weapons from the Zelda series, but I decided on the Kite Shield from Breath of the Wild. Now let's get this shield started. The first thing I'm doing is making my pattern out of newspaper. I do this just by looking at a reference picture. When making patterns, I like to use different color markers whenever I make a mistake. That way, when I go to cut out the pattern, I know which lines and which colors to follow. The next thing I'm doing is tracing my pattern onto EVA foam. You can get this foam from either Joann's or Michael's. For the main base of the shield, I am using 8mm foam. The next step is to just simply cut out the foam. I'm using a box cutter. When cutting foam, you're going to go through a lot of blades, so I always like to have a bunch of spare blades nearby, just so it's easy to replace them as I'm working. The next thing I'm doing is cutting out the littler details from my pattern. This way I can trace on those smaller details onto foam and then cut those out as well.
Here I am making the pattern for the feathers that are on the bottom of the shield, doing the same newspaper method for these, and then I will be tracing these onto 2 millimeter foam. For the feathers, I cut little grooves and little slits into the sides just to give them a more realistic and feather looking texture. Here I am using a rotary tool to smoothen the edges just a little bit more. Now I am heat sealing the foam. I do this because the foam acts kind of like a sponge and if I don't do this, it will soak up all the glue that I'm about to apply. Now I'm going to be using contact cement to attach the pieces. This stuff is super toxic, so whenever you use it, you have to work in a well-ventilated area and wear a respirator because you don't want to inhale this stuff. The next thing I'm doing is putting quick seal along the seam down the middle because when I did attach them, there's a little bit of a gap, um, but applying this stuff to it makes that gap pretty much invisible, especially after the priming and sanding that I'm going to do after this. Now I'm going to be sanding it down just to make it even and look like it is part of the foam. And then after that I'm going to go over it with Mod Podge. This makes it look really really smooth and super pretty whenever you go over and paint it because you really aren't even going to be able to tell that there is a seam down the middle after this. Now I'm drilling holes that I will put the loops through that are going to attach the feathers that are along the bottom of the shield. I'm measuring how long I need to cut these foam dowels for to make the loops. And here I am attaching and gluing the feathers. Now I'm just going down the middle of the feathers with hot glue just to add a little bit of extra detail to the feathers. For the handle, I really just freehanded a lot of this. I just cut some foam rectangles. For the first strap, I used 5mm foam and then I just put contact cement on the back. And then for the actual part that my hand would go on, I used a foam dowel rod and put two foam rectangles over that to kind of attach it and then I just kind of lined it up to see where I would need to actually glue it onto the back of the shield so my arm could go through it. Before painting I'm going to be sealing this off with plastidip. This stuff is also toxic, so I'm going to be wearing your respirator and spray painting this outside. Applying plastic up can be a bit tricky. You have to make sure you're just the right distance away, otherwise you will get bubbles. And the trick is to do multiple thin coats rather than one or two really thick coats because this will make the plastic up bubble up. After I finished sealing the foam with plastic dip, I painted the whole shield white. I did this so the colors would show up a whole lot better when I went to go paint them. And then I just used acrylic paint to paint the shield.
To attach the feathers, I used wire that is used for making flower arrangements or making flower bouquets. And then for the beads, I used foam clay. You can get this stuff at Michael's. I absolutely love this stuff. It's so easy to work with and it's so much fun to use. And so I just put that around the wires and then let them dry. It only takes a couple hours for it to dry. And then just paint it over that and then my shield was done. That's all for this episode. If you're wondering where I got any of my materials or tools for this prop, there are links in the description of this video on the Goofing Off YouTube channel. If you have any other questions, you can feel free to tweet me at ZTV Goofing Off with the hashtag Create Your Character. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time on Create Your Character. You've stumbled onto alternate universe goofing off. I'm Drew Brown, blue plaid variant, and this is my co-host, Matt Reed McFadden. I'm excited to be revealed to the world, Drew, but for now, let's cut to break. If you like what you see here on Goofing Off, be sure to like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and follow us on Twitter. Hello and welcome back, my fellow rocket scientists. My fellow epidemiologists. My fellow primatologists. Fellow neuroscience enthusiasts. Fellow historians. Today's episode is gonna be a blast because we're talking about volcanoes. I'm gonna be talking about defibrillators. Arachnophobia. Colorblindness. Yawning. Synesthesia. The reign of terror. Now you know. Now you know. So go out. Go out. Go out. Enjoy life. And, and stay, stay curious. curious. You're watching ZTV. Intro to Dungeon Delver, Icewind Dale, Rime of the Frostman. Drew, what does any of this mean? Matt, that's the name of the D&D campaign that Cameron's doing for this next segment. D&D mean like, do not disturb campaign? I, I don't know what that means, Drew. Well, Matt, neither does most of the audience, so let's send them over to Cameron with his campaign in Dungeon Delver, up next. Hello everyone, my name is Karen Blinn, and welcome to Dungeon Delvers. So if any of you dungeon masters out there have tried to make a winter or arctic based campaign, you probably had some problems filling the areas with monsters for your adventures to fight. Those monsters having huge swings in power, being as pitiful as normal people, animals, and a yeti, with the next step in challenge being as strong as a white dragon, an elder tempest, or a frost giant. So what was Wizards of the Coast solution? Well, a whole campaign book based entirely in a winter wasteland, with Icewind Dale, Rime of the Frost Maiden. Now, this book is a really interesting one, but what is this book all about? Well, the area known as Icewind Dale has 10 towns in it called Ten Towns. Clever, right? Well, the goddess of the winter solstice has decided that she no longer wants the sun to rise in Icewind Dale. So, night after night, she casts a spell that keeps the sun away to keep winter going. That's all the players will know. So I'll keep at that until later in the video where I will be doing some small spoilers. Now with most campaigns, I either love them or hate them completely. This one is a very mixed bag of feelings. This one is meant to be a horror campaign and it's one that just doesn't feel right with me. With Curse of Strahd, we had the fear of a powerful vampire that had complete control of the area the players were exploring. This was his domain and we were the intruders. He was allowing us to explore and at any given moment, if we upset him far too much, he could just end us, turn us into vampires, or much, much worse. Then, with Out of the Abyss, players are dealing with demons that have clawed their way out of the abyss. And it was that fear of the unknown. Being in the Underdark is scary, and it's doubly so when around every corner there could be a demon lying in wait or some horrible mutation on the inhabitants that were exposed to the abyss's foul energy. But with Rime of the Frost Maiden, I don't really feel that terror. Yeah, the snow can cause you not to be able to see or really hear, and anything can be lurking in the snow, but it's not completely unknown. There's only so much that could be out there. But that doesn't really invoke horror in me. But I will say this book comes full of unique spells, magic items, and monsters to use in other games. The craziest thing is that there is an item called the Scroll of Summoning Tarrasque and a Scroll of the Comet. Why, Wizards of the Coast? Just why? 
The other items make sense when it comes to survival in winter, like a thermal cube to keep the group warm, a fishing line to catch fish to eat in any body of water, and a few other ones. My all-time favorite thing about this book is the three kobolds in a trench coat that players have to figure out isn't just a clumsy man, but it's actually just three little kobolds standing on their shoulders. But now we get into the spoiler area because the rest of the story really makes or breaks it, so here we go, and you have been warned. Throughout every campaign, the main villain or villains are on the front of the book. Dungeon of the Mad Mage, Boom, Halister, front and center. Dragon Heist, all the villains are right there. Tomb of Annihilation, there's my boy, Aserarak. Curse of Strahd, guess who's on the front cover? Not some wolf you encounter in the woods, it's Strahd himself. But with this, the Frost Maiden is just a footnote in this adventure. This adventure pretty much has no good ending for the Ten Towns. You either lose to the Goddess of Winter Solstice, or another disaster will come and destroy the towns. If the towns don't die from the cold, the Dugar will unleash a mechanical dragon made of evil devil metal. And if they fail, then there are mind flayers nearby that will invade the town for supplies and food, which just so happen to be brains, while they repair their crashed ship. Or the moving city entombed in ice to look like a glacier that is being driven by a lich will come by and destroy the town. Or there are the vampires that have been loving this eternal darkness. Or finally, the players will just summon the Tarrasque and it'll destroy the town. There is almost no way for the players to 100% save the towns. They can partially save one town or multiple, but there is no way that they'll be able to get them all. So this kind of takes away from what D&D is, a story to do the impossible, save lives, and be epic heroes. If the players miss something and just take care of the Frost Maiden, then they're gonna come back to the town's just being completely destroyed and gone. Oh, and the best part about this adventure is that the goddess has three forms that you have to kill one after the other with no break, like some sort of Dark Soul boss. So overall, with all the negativity, I still recommend this book. But I heavily recommend that the Dungeon Master changes it so the players don't just lose because they miss something. But what do you guys think of this adventure? Love it or hate it? What was your favorite monster and magical item? Why don't you let me know by tweeting me at ZTV Goofing Off and make sure you use that all important hashtag Dungeon Delvers. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Oh man, Drew Brown Flad variant. It seems the wormhole is closing and the audience is returning to the normal timeline. Well, I guess we had our time in the spotlight. Let's throw it to break while the original two warp back. If you like what you see here on Goofing Off, be sure to like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and follow us on Twitter. The shows are closed, the sound is locked down, and it hurts that you miss the taste of a face melted by bass. Get close to the sound on Lowdown. The guests we acquire are bound to inspire. So as we wait for the time to reunite, now is the time to excite your light. You're watching ZTV. <laughs> Matt, that had better not be a copyrighted song you're humming. No, it's definitely not a copyrighted song I'm, I'm humming, Drew. Matt? It had better not be. Pokegoofs 2 can do much better. Uh, you are right, Drew. Let's go now to me and Kyle on Pokegoofs 2. Hello, everyone. And <laughs> welcome to what, in the end, has become Pokemon Pokegoofs 2. Pokegoofs 2. Game of the year, baby. Game of the year edition. Game of, of the two. year. Uh, welcome back, everyone. <laughs> So, as, as you, the loyal goofing off viewers, uh, may know, uh, we, street, we did Pokegoofs, uh, last year, and we did Leaf Green, we absolutely dominated that game, and so we thought, what better way to follow it up than with the sequel game, Pokemon Soul Silver. Yeah, um, I love this game. This is I, my favorite th game. This is my favorite Pokemon. Game. I never owned it for actual DS because I didn't you know, uh, DS when it came out, but I've played it a lot on the fake DS. <laughs> the 
<laughs> yeah, um, we are doing a randomizer once again. But anyway, Matt, I think it's time to start. I think it's time to get the show on the road. Uh, Matt will be playing once again. I am going. How do I play this again? It is X. Oh. I mean and then the, the and then the arrows. I mean the A button. Yes. Matt, tell me your name. Brother. Brother. Bro. Wait, can you fit brother? B R O T H E R. You can fit it's it perfect. Perfectly. It's gonna be in all caps because. Thank you. I'm important. <laughs> uh, and yeah, we're gonna be keeping track on what we guess. So Matt, let's. Oh. Uh, uh... Oh no. What did you do? Uh, friend Lyra. I'm not reading it. I don't know how to read anyway, so. You learned that about me in Pucky Goops 1 for the real stairs. Oh, hey, I got an email. We drew two. Drew! I drew two. Mm. I think it's. Uh, look, mm. I like myself a Drew, alright? But we can make Drew something else. We can. We can make Drew something I else. Think we, we don't should... have to have a repeat. I think we should go with Trico. Because yeah, Trico because is my favorite Gen 3 starter. Such a strange coincidence. Touch it. And he follows us! There he yes, is! I am so excited for this! We have to get a win. Alright. Our nickname. Yes. <laughs> is Bart the nickname you want to get? Yes! In a sense, I guess it is. Brother and Bart! <laughs> Bart! Talk to me, Mr. Pokemon person. Oh, how did he get here before me? Oak was already there. Oh, Oak. Oh, that's right, we got Oak. Yeah, it's Oak. You're doing okay for someone weak as our Trico just rips his head off. <laughs> Basically, he just died. As Trico unhinges his jaw and my just favorite, consumes Nidorino. My favorite part about fighting a rival is that every single time we beat him, he's like, you're weak, and I'm like, you're losing. <laughs> there's no, there's no weakness You're the here. one that lost. The one that is constantly losing. Oh, we could call him Ungoofy, because he's not Goofy. Ungoof. Mr. Serious. <laughs> Gentleman Serious. Gentleman Serious. The antithesis of goofing off. <laughs> I'm just looking out the window, he's got two dogs. Attention everyone. It has come to our attention that someone is walking dogs outside of Multiple our Multiple dogs. Two of them in fact. If I see a dog, since the quarantine hit, I've really realized what I what I enjoy in the Hey life. Matt, it's random. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! What? 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 This is... Oh! <laughs> Lyra! Well, now we know that she's got... She's packing some heat. Are you serious? Yes! yes! Are you for real? I'm so I'm so happy. What is he transformed with? Rose, Rosalia, uh, and Rose Ray. Right. I am so happy right I'm now. Gonna kill him. Don't do that, please, <laughs> Matt. I love Rose. It's Ray. just gonna be us throwing Pokeballs for the next eight turns until he has a one-shot move, which I don't think you can't have one-shot moves. If you're level uh, yeah, they can't do it lower level. All right, but do. Oh, okay. Well, huh? Oh, huh? We are catching this, but <laughs> Um. Yes! <laughs> yes! Whatever. We got the Badoo. <laughs> That's all I care about. He said him. He said He said It's the dragon of life. I That's... doubt even one. Huh. Okay. Uh, that was strong, okay. but not that bad. Perfect. No! 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 No, that's a lot of damage! Are you serious? He said, uh, you were not with us for very long. But, boy, boy did you have potential. <laughs> not ideal, but fine. Another Pokeball. Another one. I'm still invoking Steven Osborne. And I will stand by that until it fails me. There it is! The Stephen Osborne method of capturing Pokemon. <laughs> I need to not take a- <laughs> This is your fault! You keep saying these things- I didn't keep say it this happening. time! I need to not take a drink of water before these things happen. That almost <coughs> forgot to me. Send in Bart to murder. Bart shall murder Arceus. What's Arceus? Psychic type? Normal. He's the one with the plates. I'll be back. Um. 
We just heal, uh, check. And see, make sure he doesn't die, please. I'm very nervous, I'm not talking. Oh man, wouldn't this be some? <laughs> Kyle, I will leave it on this screen so you can see it when you come back. I'm literally at the step before the desk. Okay, it does uh, happen in this game. Okay, I, I, I was so, so scared when that popped up. <laughs> okay, cool. <gasps> Yo! Name. Murphy. Murphy! He's back. Yo, dude! Come on, Oogie. Kennel up. Let's go. That's right, dude. That's right, she always, dude! She always <laughs> listens to that one. No matter what she's doing, she'll always listen to that one. <laughs> I cannot believe... Well, <laughs> we got Flygon again. Here we are again. <laughs> Uh, yes. O-U-G-I. O-U-G-I? Mm -hmm. Not the Oogster. Don't forget about the lower the cases. That's good for Oogie, so now we need to evolve Bart. Save it. That's fine. We need to restart the end. Uh... Um... Quack. Or should I just reset? No, just oh. exit. Hi, um, this is awkward. We had some technical difficulties, we... but rest assured, we are back. Was... So as you noticed, there was a slight uh, screen graphical issue. Uh... That was resolved by resetting the uh, Nintendo DS system that we're playing on. <laughs> However, uh, Matt Reed's computer decided that it didn't want to open uh, anything, so we had to restart the computer, and that just deleted everything. Yeah. So we had to restart, so if you'll go into our Pokemon, Mr. Reed. I'd love to go um, into our definitely still the same Pokemon. In That's the bag. On the bright side, we did spare... Uh, we did spare Ysera. Ysera never died. Ysera never died. Ysera will live a healthy life in the wild. This is, this is the ultimate- We never re her, and she'll never have to go through our torturous death. The alternate timeline where Ysera just gets to live her life carefree and without worry. It's better this way. Yes, will, it, she it truly missed, is better this way. But she will never know the torture that we put her through. For the first Pokemon. Electric. Water. Okay. And then the exact Pokemon. We have three guesses. I'll write them down. For the second one? Yeah. The second actual... The, 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 second. Se the second Pokemon. Um, I'm gonna guess... Charmeleon, Luxio, uh, Shuppet. I'm gonna guess Jumpluff, Flareon. Flareon? Oh, Manaphy. No, no, no. Fionn? That's right. That's right. Okay. Okay, we were both wrong. <laughs> Steven Oz! Oh, Oogie. Ironically enough, Oogie would be perfect for this. Oh, well, we were wrong on all accounts. Uh, Cricketoon? Oh, oh, we could do that. We could um, guess the Pokemon, yeah. You know, I'm gonna take- I'm gonna go for the safe, possibly dangerous route. I'm gonna just- I'm gonna guess Togepi. Yeah. <laughs> That was my guess. That was my guess. Too bad, Mr. Reed. Alright, you know what? I'll ban Togepi from guessing just because of all Pokemon, it's it's a default, so that, that'd be cheap. Um, you think it's gonna be Lily? I think it's gonna be Lily. What? 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 Yeah! Bart's evolving. Let's go. <laughs> Unknown. Oh, we got him! Bro. We got him! We Brother. got the starters, dude! Brother. Bart! Bart! Another fully evolved Pokemon. You know what? We failed earlier. I think it's time we re-invoke the power of the man who just got pizza from the door, Jack Stern himself. Oh yeah, that's right, because we were going to name it after you. I'm going to catch this one, guys. <gasps> Jack, you lied. You oh, still get a home, yes. Jack! Yes, dude! <laughs> Down to the water! Jack Stern! 
me, Stasta. <laughs> I'm the last Pokeball. I can't wait until the Jack's turn. I can't w wait until we have to put him to rest. This is a real uncut gem in all here. This is how I fuck you up. Oh no. Epic. Epic. Epoch. Dude, cool. Wow. And Everstone. Um, Something at level serve. 15. I'm sorry, what? Huh? Okay. Jack. Prince. Oh. Prince. I guess we'll be naming this executor Prince if it is caught. Prince. Okay, I guess we have a name Prince. <laughs> oh, he has no guard. That's not good. Maybe it's just a so one hit KO. Prince, Prince is dead. Prince! Definitely not. <gasps> yes! Yes! Oh, yes. This is amazing. Yeah, I know. This is the best thing we could have gotten. Why is his stomach his mouth? Because he's because he's a first stage. They're, they're simple. Points. Wow. Wow, that was a hard no. Hard no. Are you hitting hard A and no. B? No. Why? Listen, our DS is quite <clears throat> volatile. I'd be a bit scared if we tried to go pressing buttons when it wasn't necessary. Alright, I'm gonna do- I'm gonna- if we- if we do it like this, I'm gonna <clears throat> name a man- We have to throw the I'm ball I'm gonna name first. a man B. Abba. Abba. Abba! <laughs> Abba, let's Abba. go! <laughs> Dean, you've done it. <laughs> you know what? Five, that's five points for Dean. Yeah! <laughs> no beef jerky. No slot for beef jerky. No beef jerky tag. Nothing. Nothing but disappointment and sadness. Uh, and no! Uh, no! Uh, no! No! Uh, no! 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 Matt. Thank you for the music. Well, it was a good run for Abba. I'm taking away two points. <laughs> oh, Whisk Cash. It's time for Jack Stern to murder. What is that catfish looking at me? Kyle? I love to have a so much. <clears throat> Kyle, I want you to know that hey. we're not playing around anymore. Our reign of terror through this Our game reign of terror. will be <laughs> nothing but a slaughter on our enemies. We From know. this day forth, no more Mr. Nice Jack Stern. Well, Bart, Boogie, Stephen Osborne, and Jack Stern are just punished versions of And themselves. maybe Bug Snack someday. Bro. Oh. Brother. No, we have Bart. We can eat Deoxys. A few moments later. He's from space. Who's the alien? Oh yeah, that's cool. I'll just dead. I'll just I die. I'll just all my all my boys. I love them all. Don't oh, just die. Oh my it's god! Cool. It's fine. It's fine. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Upset means to make somebody feel sad. No. No. Uh, oh. Bart. Uh, oh. Bart. The shorts. They've been eaten. And now they're gonna eat me? <laughs> oh, it's double battle time. Uh oh. Oh no, they're okay, gonna flip well, the switch. Well, all uh, right. We're supposed to flip the switch, I believe. Yeah. Except for the boss. Stop. <laughs> Give us. Stop. Hi, I'm back from Bugsy. Save, we'll exit, go to the Pokemon Center, and then call it a day. Alright, guys. Um, well, current point standing. Yeah. Oh, I'm at six. Uh, Matt's at ten. Dean is at seven for some reason. <laughs> somehow. Dean is beating you. <laughs> Dean is beating me. <laughs> and he got here like two hours ago. Yeah. Will oh. he be at future streams? Who knows. Who knows. All right. Well, we'll thank see. you guys for joining us. If you're still listening and watching, if not, that's fine too. Um, don't forget to follow us on Twitch. Uh, and where we are right now. Yeah. <laughs> Tweet us at uh, ZTV Goofing Off using the hashtag PokeGoofs2. Give us PokeGoofs Revengeance. PokeGoofs Revengeance. <laughs> that, that's the official hashtag. Oh, if you want to tweet us your condolences for any of the Pokemon that we've lost. Hashtag RIP Abba. 
<laughs> Scare Sweden. R.I.P. Abby, yeah. Um, or just have any comments about you know what we're doing in general, or check out any of our other uh, wonderful segments and wonderful things that's going on on our Twitter. Um, and that's about it. This has been uh, this has been been Matt Reed. I'm Kyle Glockner. I'm Dean Villarreal. <laughs> <laughs> The most unofficial (laughs) official goof member there ever was. (laughs) And, you know, thank you for taking this time to goof off. To mourn off of us. (laughs) Mourning off. Love it. Alright. Yeah. We're still live. We're still live. Bye bye! Screw. I cannot wait to see the promo. I hear Nick put a lot of work into it, and I can't wait to see what he did. Matt, you were here for the promo, remember? Last week in studio? Wait, like, last week in studio. Like, last Thursday when we were just messing around. Yes to all of those. Uh, oh, no. No, 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 no. Drew, Drew, we have to stop them, all right? I, I look ridiculous. We have to stop it from airing. Please, we have to stop it. If you like what you see here on Goofing Off, be sure to like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and follow us on Twitter. Watching ZTV. True. Does that say we sports? What? I have to. I have to stand to play that. Well, who's playing it then? Oh, you two are playing it. Face off! Face off! Face off! Face off! Face off! Matt, stop talking. <laughs> We're facing off in we sports. It's a classic, literally the most classic Wii game ever, because it came with the Wii. Do y'all remember when you were like eight, you opened this bad boy up from your parents for Christmas, <laughs> and you played this all Christmas morning? I do. Yes. yes. Oh, man. So we're choosing our little me's, Cameron. I'll, I'll go with guess B. Ooh, classic thing. Okay, that's fine. You can't save it to your me record. Oh, man, I won't be the pro bowler anymore. I won't have that golden bowling no, ball. No, uh, no. I am indeed right-handed. All right, Reed. Matt Reed, who will you be? Uh, whoa, whoa, I really do have the, it's like a magic wand. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, Harry Matt Reed, we Potter. all said that. We all said that in 2006 when we right. opened our little Wii's up. We went, well, wow, I never opened a Wii tracking. in 2006. It's my sad, tragic backstory. You, you never had a Wii, Matt? Never had a Wii. Oh, yeah, you're skiing. Uh, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play a uh, guest C, guest C, actually. Um, my parents were naming me. They almost named me Guess C. Really? So. Hit yes. Uh, Hit yes. Hit yes. <laughs> so, uh, and are yeah. you right-handed or left-handed? You're left-handed. <laughs> I'm gonna say get out. Well, everything's on right-handed already, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh no. Oh, just hit okay again. Uh, oh. Whoa. No, change so him to left hand. All right, I'll be the blonde girl. <laughs> no, that's you. That's yeah, not that's a girl. Hair, <laughs> that's your hair. Here you go, Nick, Nick, which of these do you Who look the you most be? like? Hmm. Guest F. <laughs> hmm. I guess I'll go at Guest F. Looks like my mom. <laughs> <laughs> Nick and is we all, playing as his mom. Uh, so, we're all... all... so are we just like doing it from the chair? Yeah, don't move. Hey, hey, hey. That's the strap. challenge. Strap up. Be safe. Yeah, put the strap on, Cameron. Jeez. Come on, buddy. You know the drill. I don't want that Wii in, I don't want that remote inside that TV. I do. Is that remote? <laughs> no! TV is so okay, faithful to I, us. This is gonna be so bad. I don't even know. Okay. I believe in you. Give me like a second. I want to see like how this works while sitting. Cause like, see, it's delayed. My favorite part of this game. Look at that! It goes behind you and all the Mii's go, Whoa! The, the Mii's go, ah! <laughs> Yeah, they're like so, <laughs> they're so scared of a ball. Okay. I th- it's a bowling ball. It does weigh a lot. Well, I mean, if someone threw a bowling ball at me. But it was on the I ground. Come on, Cameron, you got I, this. Buddy. Okay, okay. Uh, uh one, a two, oh, a skiddly do. Sniper mode. Yeah. I guess. All right, let's hold B, and then you go. 
Good ball. job, Cameron. Look at that. I swear. Okay. Oh, man. <laughs> I was, that's still really good. I you know. Oh, man. I should just leave now. I, I, I just throw it like a dodgeball. <laughs> Overhand, I, too. I, I yeah. But how do I aim it like this? <laughs> oh, uh, you hit A to switch, and then you're able to angle it. Yep, and then you're able to. Bad. Yep, there you go. I thought you were a gamer. You thought wrong. I've never played a game in my life. Uh, <laughs> it's been a farce this Wait, what's whole been Poke Goofs this entire time? My name is Guest C, not Matt. Oh, right, right. <laughs> uh, we really didn't back. do our own personas. Wait, uh, hey, switch. Hit the back. top button. Oh. No, you up. 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 Not down, Matt Reed. You're yelling at me. I don't like it. <gasps> so I hold B? Yeah, you yeah, hold B and, and then you swing, swing it like, like a real bowling ball. Eight more, <laughs> eight more frames of bowling here. Right, 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 right. Editor, zoom in real close. Real close. Show you how to do it. <coughs> you go all the way up. Right. Make sure you copy circulation and you clip it like that. <laughs> Make sure you have the limited edition Zelda Wii yes, remote as well. I was just about to say we are playing with D. True, they got you Kyle, spot Kyle on. Kyle limited edition Wait, does, Zelda. Does, does, Zelda does Shrew Brown have green eyes? No, I have blue eyes. Uh, you have green eyes for this one though. How do I do? Okay. Hold on. Oh, not even aiming, just going. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> That's not uh -oh. what I wanted to do. <laughs> you gotta let go. Throw it back. Oh. Uh -oh. No way. <laughs> <laughs> is it impossible to get anything other you than literally, nine things? My knee no, was exactly, like. <laughs> this is exactly what you just did. <laughs> you flicked the wrist. Yeah, what, is is your, what are you doing? Oh, go, for that. Way. go for the other one. Get Matt's that guy. Take out some other dude's pins for him. <laughs> it's like you gotta strike for the other guy. Uh, I, yeah, yes. Yeah, Noted. Nick, that's how you get back in the lead. Uh, how can you get back in the lead if you never had it? Oh, that, Ooh, that was, that was tight. tight. That was oh, tight. Garbo. Oh. Here we go. Baba booey. I didn't mean to do that while you were doing it. I'm sorry. Oh, oh I missed oh, there's two. two. Oh. I'm never going to bowl. That's <laughs> sensing an opportunity to come back. <laughs> Nick is just... No! I always move it to the... I always tilt it. I don't know. Oh, wow. I don't know. Here you go. Like a load of excuses. <laughs> it might be. Nick, what's your excuse? Um, I'm just warming up, dog. Dude, I got 20 on the first frame. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, not all of us can be cool, okay? You Guys, think being good at bowling is cool? Hey, yeah, hey, you're hey, good hey. at bowling. It's super cool. Nope, nope, nope. No way. Oh! oh, so close. Dude, hey, as far as it now, went, Nick, like, that was if we were good. actually bowling, you definitely would have. That pin would have hit the other pin. Yeah, oh, yeah, for sure. For Digital sure. bowling is a whole new game, my guys. I'm, I'm stuck in the real world. Just, like, not even... Oh, my. Man, you hey, didn't even move it. <laughs> you didn't even move it. I'm gonna try that this time. You're gonna try my technique? Right, this technique this oh, time. instant replay. I'm gonna mm. put the strap on. Uh, uh, positions are actually like a leaderboard too. Hardy third place. Guess F. Oh, <laughs> you <laughs> keep. It's you didn't worse. use the strap. You didn't use the strap. You're right. The strap, the buddy. Strap, but Cameron doesn't use the strap. <laughs> yeah, but well, Cameron's Cameron a cheater. Count. Cameron's yeah, a cheater. Cameron hacked the game. Cameron is a hacker. He has, he has Cameron's games. using aimbots. <laughs> wow, Cameron's at 99. <laughs> I hit Matt Reed's leg. No! Yes! 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 Matt Reed's leg wins the game! <laughs> I hit his leg! Oh, I hope the camera picked that up. <laughs> I, nope. No evidence. Excuses. No, I just want that, like, I just want to see my arm. Oh. I've got triple... I've got triple Nick's score. Three of us are about to pop off. <laughs> the, the bowling game. Oh. Oh. Matt Reed, he was popped on. <laughs> what are those pins? That's... Garbanzo beans! Oh, sorry, I left my super glue under them. Wow. Don't joke like that. This is serious. <laughs> this is, this is yes, weed goof bowling. Yeah, this is goofing yeah. off. We don't, we don't, we don't joke. joke. This is very serious, actually. This is it. This is how I go. La, 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 la. Guest C, up for a very nervous bowl right now. He has to, uh... <laughs> Not knowing what he's going to do if he loses, probably just drop out of school. Uses that uh, little air vent thing at the end of the bowling track to uh, dry off the sweat from his hands. To dry off his tears. <laughs> you can see him putting his face towards it. That's not bad. That's not bad. Oh. It's not good either. That wasn't you know, bad. Whatever. Oh, his mother has now disowned him. Oh, no. My mother disowned me a long time ago, Cameron. So guy. joke's on you. Yeah. Charity is his choice. We'll if lose. I, I, <laughs> the charity that he wants to lose money. <laughs> I missed the shot. It turns out I'm the producer this semester. If he misses. If he misses. 
Yeah, that's how that works. This, this, this. Oh, yeah! Hey! Spot yeah. Yeah. Bars in the center, so maybe that's why. Oh, I was like, how are you beating me? I think it knows that you're on that side. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. Man. Yeah, the Wii is a very intelligent console. Please do not. <laughs> I mean, look, it's not the dumbest console like the uh, Xbox Connect. Okay. Whoa. That's. Oh. Okay, oh. I stand corrected. That's what you get. That's right. But I don't you know what I think. How? In a Mario movie, in a Super Mario movie, if Owen Wilson doesn't play. Waluigi. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's Peach. Wow. 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 No, he should play um, Shy Guy, because Shy on. Guy goes wow a lot. Oh, that is true. Shy Guy mm, I like still think he'd be a good Waluigi. Oh, no, I'm not saying he wouldn't. I'm just saying he would be a better he'd Shy be Guy. He'd be Waluigi, and uh, Danny, De Danny, De Danny DeVito would, would be Wario. Wario. Yeah. Danny yeah. DeVito would be Wario. Now, who would be Mario and Luigi? Uh, uh, the two the two actors that played him in the, in the original movie. They're old, dude. Like, they're Yeah, that's cool. Okay. The guy who played Luigi. We'll fix it in post. Well, then. Fix it in post. I have to CGI. I thought you ever seen Weekend at Bernie's? <laughs> well, it's, we got uh, Mario and Luigi's. Oh, <laughs> Luigi's oh I know mansion. what you're talking. I get what you're talking about. They're just like, no, Master Hand just marionetting him. Oh, come on, come on. Oh. Nick, what would, what would, Nick, what would you do? Nick, that was a rough miss on that spare there, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's a callback on what you said to him. Yeah, it's just, blah, 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 blah. yeah. Drew, I believe that on the tenth frame you're going to get three strikes. Okay. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Man. This is the practice round, that's it. Yeah, yeah. It was just a practice throw. Oh, 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 oh goal, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so my anxiety boy, just boy, boy, boy. hasn't been existing this game. Man. Shut up. <laughs> Look, I believe in you gang three. Gutter ball. Gutter ball. Gutter. See, that's there's right. There's one. There's one. <laughs> Good job, Matt Reed. Cheer me on again, Nick. <laughs> okay, God. We're getting vindictive now. <laughs> it's the hate that's fueling you. Yeah, dude. I'm a, I'm a Sith bowler. <laughs> you shoot lightning. I'm a Sith bowler. <laughs> oh, no, the younglings. Strike those kids down and you should become more powerful. <laughs> yeah, do it. <laughs> Eight pins. La -la -la -la. Yeah, like... This is actually... I'm really nervous about yeah, this. Yeah, because if they get two strikes, you're done. Shut up. Just saying, bud. Just saying. Oh. Oh. Yes! Oh. I hit it. Sorry, Drew, but I yes. Well, but okay. well, if he gets a spare here and then a strike, he might still win. That's a rough spare. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Leave the ball there as your character just keeps going. Ooh. Ooh. Nope. Uh, no. Ooh. Nope, that's it. Right, I got right. one. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. Well. I wanted. I lost. I won. I, I didn't lose, okay. I don't care. Not last place. Not <laughs> last place. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess we'll uh we'll take it to the little food part. Mariah gotta eat it. I'm here with Drew Brown, the person who recently just lost yeah. Wee Bowling face off. Wee bowling. I didn't have I don't have the skills I did when I was six years old. Mm. What happened out there, Drew? I bowled. Well <laughs> bowling while sitting is harder than you think. For Sounds me, like I guess. an excuse, but maybe. Drew must now have his punishment. Kyle, if you would, be so kind. <laughs> oh, that's like- Hey guys. That's like sludge. Uh, yeah, so Speedway was closed, I'm sorry. Um, so we got, we got a little mixture right there. I got some Ooh. water. Uh, why don't you, why don't you take a little- Oh, oh it's like a little- I'll join you there. It's like a little sippy. It's, it's got like, take some, uh, I don't know if you all want to see that. It's like peppery with some sludge. Yeah, what, what's, give us the rundown, Kyle. What's, uh, what's well, in it? It smells I sweet. We'll let him, sour. let him like taste it first and then we'll okay. tell him what's in it. What if it's actually really good? <laughs> 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 Whoa, that's like 30 flavors in one. It's like, that's Dr. Pepper too. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Are these coffee grounds? Well, um, so we found some... I'm not eating more. <laughs> uh, we found some lime juice. Okay, uh, I can taste the lime juice. We got juice. some lime juice. Uh, there was a strawberry jam packet that was definitely off color. Uh, <laughs> some, ah, some, uh, coffee. some minced ah. garlic. Uh, some hazelnut coffee flavoring. Mm, that's what and it pepper. Mm -hmm. <laughs> not very good. I can taste the I'm hazelnut. Sorry. The I, hazelnut's like the most star strongest you know, flavor. I tried. I guess it wasn't good enough. I'll try better next time. No, anyway, it was good, good enough. Good day, gentlemen. It was good enough. Here you go, buddy. 
If you have any suggestions for what we should play next time here on Face Off, make sure to tweet us at ZTV Goofing Off using the hashtag. What's wait? What's this show called again? Face, face, off! Off! face, face off! off! Face, face off! Face off! Face, face off! Face off! Well, it seems like this is the end of the first episode of Goofing Off for the semester. Anything you want to say, Drew? You know what, Matt? Yeah. It's honestly really good to be back. I'm glad to see everyone around working yeah, hard yeah, yeah. on Yeah, yeah, whatever, whatever, whatever. That's great, Drew. Anyway, remember to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and Instagram, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for extra content. I'm Matt Reed. And I'm Drew Brown. And thank you for taking the time to goof off with us. Record scratch, but it's okay. Say that every time. I don't know if she notices. I hope she does notice, because then it's just a weird thing. <laughs> these, bop, these bloopers bop, are bop, gonna be the bop, stupidest bop, bop. bloopers. <laughs> Andrew, is it? Does it say Wii Sports? What? <laughs> this program was produced by ZTV at the University of Akron. Do you want to gain experience in video production, professional social media, or working with real clients? Visit the UA School of Communications online or follow us on social media to learn more. ZTV, make media, make a difference.